Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of graphing patterns. Specifically, we will be looking at multiplicative patterns or patterns that use multiplication and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So the equations that we will be using to generate our patterns will look like this. y equals ax. This a is going to be a whole number. So let me just substitute a2 for that. So instead of ax, let's say y equals 2x. And whenever you see a whole number next to a variable or an unknown, like a 2 next to the letter x here, there is always going to be an assumption of multiplication. So what this means is that we are going to have y is going to equal 2 times x. And you have probably seen some x and y coordinates in the past, and you might have seen a rule. In this case, we are going to see our rule is going to be times 2 because it is 2 times x. So if we come up with a few quantities for x like 1, 2, 3, and 4, we can simply multiply the x by 2 since it is 2 times x to get our y. So we're going to get 2, 4, 6, and 8. What we have here are some ordered pairs. So we can go ahead and put these on our graph. So remember our x is going to be our horizontal. We always do that first. And then our y is our vertical. Here's our y. And that goes second. So 1, 2 is going to be 1, 2. That means we go over 1 and up 2. So that's the very first point. Then our x is 2, y is 4. That's going to be over 2 and up 4. And then we're going to continue with 3, 6. And you see how we have a pattern here? It is going to be a straight line. There's my 4, 8. But you see it is a very narrow slope. So we can continue the line up and we can see some additional points here. So we see we have a 5, 10. And we see we have a 6, 12. And it's going to go on and on and on. Let's look at another example. In this case, we already have our table filled out with our x, y coordinates. We have 2, 6, 4, 12, and 6, 18. And as we're putting those on the graph, what we're missing is our actual equation. So what equation can we write that is going to give us these coordinates here? And so what we need to look at is the relationship between 2 and 6. So it's getting bigger. 4 is getting bigger to 12. 6 is getting bigger to 18. The only way to get bigger is to add or to multiply. Let's try multiplying here. And let's see if we can find a common number that we multiply our x by to get our y. 2 times 3 is going to be 6. So let's see if that works. 4 times 3 is 12. Yes, 6 times 3 is 18. So if we want to write that, we don't necessarily write x times 3. We're going to keep it like it is up here. Our a, that's going to be our whole number. So we're going to write y equals 3x. That's how you would write this equation that gets us our y coordinate is 3 times as large as the x coordinate. Now it's time for you to try. Well, we have our three points that are plotted on our graph over here. What I'd like you to do is to go ahead and write down the x and y coordinates in the first three rows here. And then see if you can do two things after that. First, write an equation that matches the relationship between x and y in this format up here. And then secondly, see if you can find another plot on this graph that would follow that pattern. When you've got those two things done, go ahead and unpause the video and check your work. If I plot out my points, you see I have 0, 0, 1, 4, and 3, 12. The 0, 0 is known as the origin because it's at the beginning of both the x and the y axis. I'm wanting to find another point that would follow that pattern. I can see where it crosses an intersection. It looks like it might be 2, 8 right here. Let's go ahead and find our equation to make sure we're doing that right. So I'm going to ignore the 0, 0 because that's not very helpful. But 1 times 4 makes 4. 3 times 4 makes 12. So 2 times 4 would be 8. So we're going to say y equals 4x.